Now you look at this and it seems to be completely counterintuitive. So now we'll talk about why it actually works. But before we do that, uh, here is an algorithm for how pseudo-feedback typically operates. So you take the original query, you rank all the documents by that query using the best measure that you've been able to come up with. Uh, then you take n top-ranked documents. Um, and then what you do is you merge all of the terms that you see in those, uh, in those top n documents. Uh, you apply some sort of weighting and you pick nw of the most highly weighted terms from the top ranked documents in the collection. And once you do that, you take those words and you add them to your original query. So it's, it's the same Rocchio formula, only now I'm sort of breaking it down into, into a pseudocode. Right? So take top ranked documents, look at the word weightings within them, pick the highest ranked words, add them to the query, and re-rank everything with this expanded query. So um, why does it work? It seems like you're doing something horrible. You are assuming that the top ranked results are all relevant. And they will contain non-relevant results. There's no question about that. Right? So you always get non-relevant results mixed with relevant results at the top of the ranking. So why does it work? And by the way, empirically, uh, it does. It's one of the most effective uh, techniques in information retrieval. So <clears throat> there is, it's hard to explain why this works. Uh, there's two ways to approach this. So if you're statistically inclined, this is actually a form of regularization. Right? Um, so what you're doing is you're taking distributions over document scores and you're introducing some smoothness into it. So what you're doing is you're making similar documents have more similar scores. So the ranking is more uh, stable. So if you know what regularization is, uh, then this argument makes sense to you. If you don't, then, um, then it doesn't. But here's another way to think about this. Um, at the top, there's going to be relevant documents and non-relevant documents. <coughs> if you think about it, there is really only one way for a document to be relevant to the query. It has to discuss the subject of the query, right? So all documents that are relevant, they will be relevant in the same way. They will discuss something which is relevant to what the user is searching for. Now, non-relevant documents, they will discuss lots of different things, things that mention the same terms, but are not relevant to what the user is searching for. Right? Now, there is lots of different things they could discuss, and what you're hoping for is you're hoping that they do actually discuss different aspects, different things which are non-relevant to the query. So the critical thing here is there is one way to be relevant. There is many different ways to be non-relevant to the query. So when you start averaging terms across the top ranked documents, relevant documents will have similar word distributions and they will tend to reinforce each other. The same terms will appear again and again and again in the relevant documents. The, rele the non-relevant documents will talk about many different topics, and each one of them will introduce a new vocabulary into the mix. They will not reinforce each other. Right? So you're adding two types of terms. You're, you're adding noise from relevant documents, but that noise tends to reinforce itself. You're adding noise from the non-relevant documents. But that noise tends to wash out because each non-relevant document will bring its own word distribution and the others will sort of subtract from it. Right. So here's an example. Uh, again, this is a toy example. You have seven documents. Uh, the query was fish tank. So uh, the red documents are non-relevant and the green ones are relevant. I'm, I'm assuming that I mean uh, sort of fish tank refers to uh, sort of tropical fish and pets and things like that. Right. So if you look at the relevant documents, um, the terms are repeated. So uh, now fish and tank were part of the query, but things like aquarium and pet, they will get repeated over and over in many documents. So their weight will be amplified by the repetition. The non-relevant documents, things like that, uh, they will tend to wash out. Right. So again, uh, this is a, I'm, I'm, painting, I'm, I'm, painting, I'm painting a very positive picture, a very amplified uh, picture, but this is in general a way to explain why pseudo feedback uh, works. And um, 
And uh, to see whether it works or not, you should experiment with it. <laughs>